Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Terry Port of Elite Chef Master Classes and I need you to like this video and smash that subscribe button because today we're going to be cooking one of the most important and go-to ingredients that all of us do. Quick video on cooking pasta. All right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I've got a pot of water on right now and just to debunk a quick couple of myths right now because I've seen people ask me about this or I've had people ask me about this. Um, cold water does not come to a boil faster. That is not a thing. Start with hot water and it will come to a boil faster, okay? Another thing. Adding oil to the water does not prevent the pasta from sticking together. What does prevent the pasta from sticking together is just getting a pair of tongs in there, stirring it around, or a wooden spoon, whatever you got, okay? I'm gonna get also a lot of salt in here. Now, very famous chef Thomas Keller has a big chapter or at least a full page in his French Laundry cookbook uh, about big pot blanching and the quantity of salt that needs to go in there. He says, and he is God, so we must listen, he says the water for blanching vegetables or in this case cooking pasta should be salty like the ocean. And who are we to argue with God? All right, Thomas Keller, okay? So I'm gonna get enough salt in there to make that salty like the ocean for this amount, I'd probably say that was about a quarter cup. All right, and that's just about to come up to a boil. And I am using kosher salt. It's a little expensive, but uh, it's best for, for home use. Uh, if we're working in a restaurant, probably want to use table salt for something like this because you're doing such large amounts. Okay, my water is now up to a boil. I'm going to get my pasta in and to prevent it from, there we go, okay. Now, I've got a lot of pasta in there. Right when you add that pasta in is when you need to stir this around. Don't walk away from this. Don't go running off chopping up parsley or, or doing up something else, okay. The first minute or two this is in the water is when you need to stir it around a couple of times, okay? I'm going to be working on this and we'll be back in just a sec. All right, it's been about a minute or two. I'm coming back in, going to give them a good stir. Now, I just want to quickly want to touch on types of pasta. I generally try to stay away from uh, all white flour made pastas. I'll try and find something that's made with durum wheat semolina. Uh, a couple of brands that I'm a fan of, De Checo is great, uh, as well as Ital Pasta. Uh, both, I believe, uh, have uh, upper tier uh, pastas that they sell that are made with semolina flour. Uh, the difference being uh, semolina flour is a uh, complex carbohydrate, whereas bleached white flour is not. It is a simple carbohydrate, therefore your body processes it super fast. You'll, you'll feel full at first, and then 20 minutes later you're hungry again. All right, that's kind of why uh, uh, complex carbohydrates are better, ones that haven't been so processed, okay? Uh, so that's what this is right here. This is, uh, this is actually an Ital Pasta Fusili that I've got. Uh, I love short pastas, okay? So now this has come up to a boil. Uh, I do have a little bit too much water in here, so what I'm going to do is actually skim a little bit off so I don't get it over boiling. All right, welcome back everybody. Sorry I'm looking at you through the steam right now. Uh, once this has come up to a boil like we've had for a few minutes now, um, stirring it's not really that necessary. The, the water is doing its own stirring, so it's totally fine. Uh, you can see how I skimmed out some of that water. It's a little bit uh, lower in volume. Um, now, how do you check if this is done? Again, a lot of stupid uh, uh, throw it up on the ceiling if it sticks, blah, blah, blah. 
don't do any of that. That's dirty. Don't, just don't. Okay, best thing to do, take a piece out and taste it. Now, what you're looking for is al dente. What the hell does that mean? Al dente, think dentist, dente, teeth. Okay, you're looking for a little bit of bite left to it. That's where that term comes from. Uh, the Italians, I don't know. Uh, a little bit too much bite left in this. We're going to take it a couple more minutes. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I believe we should be good to go. We're going to give it one more test here. A touch more than I normally want, but what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up sauteing this off a little bit with uh, a bolognese a little bit later, and uh, that's going to be good to go. So let's talk about straining. I'm going to do that in just a sec. We'll be back. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My pasta is done there, ready to go. I'm going to get it strained off. Okay. I've got a colander in the sink right here. All right. And that's going to go out. Okay. So now I've got that strained off and I'm just going to shake it around, get some of the excess uh, water off of that and then while it's still there now I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of olive oil all right give it a toss and then onto a baking tray to let it cool down all right now as far as what type of olive oil extra virgin always what brand oh my god uh, brands are that's a whole other topic to its, uh, unto itself, and I'm not even gonna get into that right now. Uh, just way too much information there, uh, and truthfully, I'm not as knowledgeable as I should be on it, so uh, just buy extra virgin, uh, and truthfully, the more expensive, probably the better, but there's also a lot of shysters out there. All right, anyway, uh, once we have this on the tray, now again, we need to stir and uh, make sure we come back to that every few minutes, as when it's cooling down, it will tend to stick together as well. Okay, so just like at the beginning when we dropped it into the water, you have to stir it. Now, as we have it in the tray, you've got to come back to it every few minutes. Uh, at the beginning, the first 10 minutes, I'd say, give it a stir every two minutes and let that cool down. Uh, and then once it's cool, it won't stick together anymore. Okay, then you could put it in a Ziploc or a storage container, keep it in your fridge, and then anytime you want to have a pasta, you get your sauce in a pan, toss, 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 with your noodle, done, ready to go. All right, that is pasta demystified. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Terry Port of Elite Chef Master Classes, and this was my class on one of my favorite ingredients, pasta. Make sure you like this video and smash that subscribe button. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care.